So today we're gonna be showing you guys some quick tips on how to find the snitch. Yes, he's one of those guys that gives you the location of the gun runner. And you know, the gun runner tends to sell some really good items. So in this video, I'll show you some quick tips on how you guys can find them. And hopefully you guys don't have to ask this question anymore. Well, what I like to do when I first log on and I'm looking for the snitch, I like to find the three locations that I like the best. One being Jefferson Trade Center. So if you've ever been to Jefferson's Trade Center, you know there's a 1040 safe house right there. And what I like to do is I fast travel there, I take a left, and I just head straight this way. Now I'm gonna pinpoint on the map so you can see, you see the safe house, you see Jefferson Trade Main Mission, and I pinpoint right there. So we're gonna keep heading this way, and the first location that I usually typically find the snitch, this is where I usually find them. If I don't find them here, what I, what I would do is I would just log out maybe log into one of my other characters and then just keep looking. A lot of times, this is exactly where I find them. In this location right here behind this truck, you'll see him right here. If he is not here, another location you can check is across the map and it's just south of the taxi graveyard right here. He'll be located right under this bridge in this corner, you know, so Roosevelt Island's right there, taxi graveyard, right in here just go right under and he would be located here if he's not here there's one other spot I like to check before I do log out now the third and final spot is located in foggy bottom not too far from Truman safe house and I'll show you that on this map if you actually been to this little lockbox right here this outcast lockbox this is usually location you see the Truman safe house so the lockbox just west of it and if you head behind this area, this truck, and look, we actually see the question marks, and then this is what the snitch will look like. This is him right here. All you have to do is talk to him. He will drop the bounty. Now, if you're still not finding him at any three of these locations, there are a couple more, but these are the three I like looking at. I would just log out. If you have another character, switch to the other character, or just log back in and then try those same locations. That's really worked for me. Now remember, sometimes this doesn't work every time and you just have to wait maybe a few, maybe maybe go play a mission, come back and try those locations again. Now remember, there are a bunch of different locations you can find them and there's even maps out there that you can find them. But those are the three easiest in my opinion to kind of find. I just log into the other character and then try those locations again. But here is a map of every single location that the snitch has been seen at. You can see there's a ton of them. If you wanna take a screenshot of this, you can take a screenshot of it. But yeah, this is from the discord.gg forward slash the division. So every place that you see like a little shirt, that is where he can possibly pop up. Now, I told you the three that I showed you are pretty easy to find. I try those, log out, try those again, and those are usually where I find them. And if I don't find them, I play a mission and try again. Because the go around looking for each one of these locations can be a headache. So those three are probably the number one spots that I've had luck with when finding them. And I always find Miss Mendoza every week because you know I try to bring those videos to you. But that's it. That's how you guys find the snitch. Hopefully this short video kind of cleared it up for you. Hopefully you guys start to find them and hopefully you don't have any more questions. But good luck finding Miss Mendoza and good luck finding all of her good loot. I will see you guys in the next Division 2 video. But until then, nothing but skills is out.